welcome to Changing India, the show where we look at how new India is turning age-old problems into opportunities, giving us an insight into 21st century India. In this episode of Changing India, we will be meeting individuals as well as organizations who are working towards creating inclusive spaces for the differently abled and those with special needs. There are some organizations that are attempting to break the myths associated with Down syndrome. They are tackling some of the biggest barriers that have been preventing the inclusion of people with disabilities in the hospitality industry by sensitizing their teams. My colleague Shubhangi Daga brings us this report. The Red Fox Hotel has a bunch of young adults with Down syndrome. Their colleagues call them happy people and they have a shared dream. They all look forward to become managers in the hospitality industry. Ritesh is a 30-year-old young adult who has been working at the Clever Fox Cafe. In the last three years, he has learnt multiple skills in food and beverage services. My name is Ritesh Kisore, I work at Clever Fox. I work at Clever Fox. क्लेनिस करता हूँ, बहुत जग बहता हूँ, आईएडी सेटिंग करता हूँ, और जब देखें मेरे जो मैं मैनेजर मैनेजर करता हूँ। पुनीत इस अनदर सच एम्प्लॉयी एट द क्लेवर फॉक्स कैफे। ही हैज मल्टीपल हॉबीज, बट हिज मोस्ट चेरिश ड्रीम इस टू बिकम द जनरल मैनेजर ऑफ द होटल इन द नियर फ्यूचर। in this journey to make a name for themselves, these happy people also share a very close bond amongst each other. My name is Vinyasa Shirag Puneet Al-Alitesh and Dhruv and Nanagro are all friends. I don't do anything wrong with anyone. Red Fox Hotels is a brand of the Lemon Tree Hotels Group. In the past 10 years, Lemon Tree has hired many people with special needs. Today, this constitutes 13% of their employee base across the country. This inclusive initiative has truly helped people with Down syndrome. They are given suitable roles matched to their profiles, where their disability does not come in the way of their job performance. There is a whole lot of benefit in getting people with disability. It leads to creativity in the team. The team is much more engaged. They're very happy to do this work. They're happy to work with each other. And sometimes they come up with very creative solutions which a person without disability doesn't think of. And the reason is because they don't have a particular faculty. Say in the case of deaf, they can't hear. In the case of Down syndrome, their intellectual capacity is a little reduced. It is the 17th year of 21st century and there has been an increasing acceptance of people with Down syndrome in the country. With the advent of such inclusive work atmosphere, life for many has taken a long-awaited positive turn. There has been a definite growth in the employment rate which in turn has allowed these people to live with dignity. In New Delhi, with Shubhangi Daga, this is Priyanka Verma for Vion. Nearly 39 million people across the world are visually challenged, of which 10 million live in India. My colleague Pratik Suri explores how the central braille press in Dehradun is helping empower the visually impaired, not just in the country, but across the world. They say, if you have the will, you will find a way. That's an adage that fits Madan Kumar perfectly. Madan cannot hear or speak, yet he is today a key part of the team at the Central Braille Press. He tells us that he's been working here for four months taking care of the machines. It's an important task given how crucial the press is for providing reading material for the visually impaired the Central Braille Press in Dehradun was set up in 1951. It is the oldest facility of its kind in Asia 
that makes Braille literature available to the blind not just in India but around the world. Beyond that, it also provides people with disabilities training opportunities. In fact, a large number of people working here are visually impaired. There have been many changes over the years. Now we have computerized machines and new printing machines. Compared to the past, we have much more work now. The work done here is crucial for the empowerment of the visually impaired around the world. It is estimated that nearly 285 million people around the world suffer from visual impairment. Around 39 million of those are blind. Reading is said to be the first step on the path of empowerment. It is this opportunity that the Central Braille Press in Dehradun has been providing to the visually impaired around the globe for decades. This is Pratik Suri from Dehradun, Vion. It's a big step towards an inclusive society. India is all set to launch its first sign language dictionary. In fact, this book is expected to open a whole new window of opportunities for those with speech and hearing impairments. Vion's Abhinav Raina brings us this report. A unique book aimed at opening a new window of opportunities, India is all set to introduce its first ever sign language dictionary. The dictionary aims at formulating a standardized format which would then help in imparting higher education to the deaf. The dictionary is a very exciting concept because uh, in the entire uh, Asian uh, region, this institution of Indian Sign Language Research and Training Centre is a very uh, innovative step that India has taken forth. As on date, there are two sign languages which are there already, the British Sign Language, the American Sign Language. Other countries have their own sign languages, but these two sign languages, the British and the American Sign Language, quite uh, properly documented. We in India will be one of the first in the Asia-Pacific region to take up our sign language in the country. The project is being carried out under the ambit of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, with experts from the Indian Sign Language Research and Training Centre playing a crucial role. The institute was established to promote, publicize and spread the Indian Sign Language. The objective is not only to produce sign language professionals, but also to create awareness. India is home to more than 5 million people who suffer from hearing impairments but there are only 250 recognized interpreters in the country. So kids with hearing impairment, the basic problem with them is that in an inclusive school, they don't get teaching in sign language. So if you go to any inclusive school in Delhi, say in any metro city, even in metro cities, you'll not find uh, uh, sign language being used for teaching. Uh, so they have to go to special schools. Now most of the special schools are only at the primary level maybe not even at the secondary level. So they will not be able to get 10th degrees, 12th degrees. So if they are not able to get 10th or 12th degrees, how would they then go to the higher education sector? In order to address such needs, the dictionary will include representations for over 6,000 words of everyday usage, along with academic, legal, medical and technical terms. Documentation. It's a documentation. documentation. Documentation is very important. Language. It's a documentation of language, vocabulary. Dictionary is very, very important. Dictionary is yeah. really important, very, very, very important. More than dictionary. We need but more than dictionary, we need text. We need textbook. Textbooks, textbooks for sign language. For sign language. How to teach sign language? This conference will be an eye opener to so many hearing teachers who would be seeing deaf presenters for the first time. Deaf, they were handicapped, they were bicharas. No, not anymore. It's time for the hearing people to learn sign language and bridge that gap. With the dictionary soon to be released, it appears that finally Indian Sign Language is getting the attention it deserves. And perhaps this will be a catalyst towards building a more inclusive society. In New Delhi, Abhinav Raina, Beyond. We'll slip into a short break on that note, but stay tuned. When we return, we meet someone who is redesigning vehicles to make it more friendly for the specially abled. And also we take a look at how it is being made possible for the differently able to participate in adventure sports.